And I'm Mitchell Pasador, and this is our first episode of Lake News for the 2012-2013 school year. And we have a lot going on these next two weeks. That's right. This Friday is the first round of football playoffs. Show your support for your Laker boys on their path to state. For more on sports, we'll go to Kyra and Tyler. Hey Lakers, Tyler Thompson here. And Kyra Bailey. And we are your brand new Lake News sports broadcasters. Today, we will be interviewing cross-country runner Todd McDonald. Hey, Kyra, let's see if we can run into him on the track. <laughs> Tyler Thompson and Kyra Bailey here with Todd McDonald, one of the top runners in the state, as well as a member of men's cross-country team here at Lake Oswego High School. So we're going to ask uh, Todd a couple of questions. Kyra? So Todd, how did you get into running? Uh, well, I, I did a lot of sports when I was younger, and. I decided to try running in seventh grade. The first practice, we did this mile race. I, you know, I was, my lungs were burning. It was terrible, but I, I got second, and someone complimented me, and I just decided I liked the sport. And so, Todd, uh, before race, what's your favorite pre-game meal or ritual? Um, the night before, I always have a huge bowl of pasta, and then always at precise timing, um, right before my race, I have an energy bar two hours before. All right, Todd, uh, how do you say we go burn it out on the rubber? Okay, let's go. Thanks, guys. And the fall musical Guys and Dolls premieres this week. The musical is being shown this Thursday night and next Thursday night at 7 p.m. in the LOHS Auditorium. It is also being shown this Saturday and next Saturday at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. For more on arts and entertainment, we'll go to Darby and Kayla. Hey Lakers, this is Darby Hennessy and Kayla Todd with your A&E section of Lake News. Most people know what goes into a music production for the actors. Learning lines, performing on opening night, and rehearsal every day. But what they don't see is what goes on behind the scenes. Today we're with Sherry Bart, the costumer for this year's production, Guys and Dolls. Sherry's been working for LOHS for the past two years, and this year she takes on the costumes for the Gamblers and Dolls of 1940s New York City. So, Sherry, on average, how much time per day do you spend on these costumes? About 10 hours a day. Wow, that's a lot. Plus shopping and accounting time. Wow, that's a lot. So where do you get your inspiration? Well, mostly my specialty is period costuming, so I tend to do a lot of research from actual primary sources, photographs that were taken from the time period or art pieces, and then I also look at things that have been produced for stage by other designers because I like to see how they've interpreted the time period to suit the the demands of stage. Well, thank you, Sherry. To see Sherry's creation, go to the musical's performances starting November 8th. Back to you, Mitchell and Tori. Thanks, guys. Don't forget that this coming Monday, November 12th, we have no school. November 12th also marks the first day of winter sports. That's all for this week, Lakers. For more on the news and happenings around the school, go to www.lohslakeviews.com. Bye, Bye friends. friends.